ladies and gentlemen welcome to the encouraging vessel this is the encourager coming to you again with um yet another word now this is hopefully this is short the intent is for this to be short this is for those who do not know or receive who jesus christ is I point you to the book of Genesis. And while I'm pointing out just specific books to you, uh, please know that the Bible is meant to be read as a whole. So I point you to Genesis. I point you to Isaiah. I point you to John, the book of John. And I also point you to the book of First John. I point you to Hebrews chapter 3 and 4. And finally, I take you to the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ in the beginning. Jesus Christ in the end. He fills many roles. He fills the offices of a son. He fills the office as the Holy Ghost. And he fills the office as the Most High. Don't take my word for it. Study. That is the only way you will know. Study the Bible. Study the Word. Follow the commandments and allow the Most High, the Lord Jesus Christ, to manifest to you, to unravel it to you, because he says he will. He says, obey my commandments. It's in the word, ladies and gentlemen. He says, follow my commandments. If you do, that is telling me that you love the Father. If you do, that is telling me that you love me and we will manifest ourselves to you we will abide with you i did a i did a lesson on that a couple weeks ago it's in the word this is not my opinion this is not my assertion this is what i know what the spirit of truth the holy spirit the lord jesus christ has revealed to me and he continually reveals to me so again for those who do not know who jesus christ is the book of genesis just these are just a few the book of isaiah the book of john the book of first john the book of hebrews and to wrap it all up, the book of Revelation. And again, I also know that not many will understand what they read because it's not for everyone. Many will not understand. And it's not that it's not there for your understanding. It is. But sometimes we are set in our ways, as the elderly would say, you're set in your ways. You're not willing or wanting to learn anything else. And therefore, for you, it is sealed up. But ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ is the answer. He is the answer. Let's not get caught up on this. As in, let's not call him Jesus Christ. That's not his name. Who are we but the created being? Don't you think the creator knows more than we do? 
For example, let's say you are an inventor and you are the original inventor, let's say, of this pen. You've put it together. You know the ins and out of it. You know everything about it. You know what it needs, what it wants. If it's not working, you know what to do. If it's hurting, you know absolutely everything about it because this is your creation. What many are failing to see is that the Most High knows what he's doing. So you pick up the Bible and some things are sealed up for some yet revealed for others. He knows what he's doing, ladies and gentlemen. And you may disagree, but that's okay. You see, when you know that you know that you know something, it does not matter what anyone says or does. And I'm here to encourage you because I want you to know that you know. And in order for you to know that you know, is you have to study and follow the instructions and develop, sharpen that relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then you'll know that you know. And even when you hear things or things are said to you, you will be unshaken. So if you're that person today and you're feeling unsure because there's so many voices, the only voice that you really need to hear is the word, ladies and gentlemen. Well, listen to, I should say, because you are we're going to hear many things. So it's up to you to get in the word. Don't allow the systems that be to confuse you or allow you to, let's say, slip or fall or get overwhelmed. The Most High, the Lord Jesus Christ, he gives peace. And he is your confidence. So when you know that you know that you know, that is enough. So study the word, ladies and gentlemen. Be blessed. This is the encourager. Under the authority of Jesus Christ himself, which is the spirit of truth, which now sits at the right hand of power, which will manifest in revelation as in being revealed shortly. Be blessed.